Let's take a look at the Cary Grant Stakes out there on Saturday at beautiful Del Mar, right? My name is Wayne Bolden. I'm your Speed King. It is Friday. It's TGIF. Hope everybody had a great work week as we move into a holiday weekend for sure. Let me be the first to wish each and every one of you a happy, happy Thanksgiving for sure. We all have a bunch to be thankful for. If nothing else, living in the greatest country in the world for sure. Again, turn your closed captions on and of course our tip sheets this weekend are available. Please get your orders in, right? I'm ready to send them out probably this evening sometime. Uh, they're 15 bucks. There's about 10 or 12 stake races that's going to be covered this weekend over Aqueduct, Woodbine, Churchill, and Del Mar like that. So again, great way to support us. Email us at speak 24 at yahoo.com. Well, let's take a look at this baby race over there at Del Mar. It is race number eight on the card. It's 400,000. It's on the dirt. It's seven furlongs. Oh, Cary Grant. What an actor he was. This is for registered uh, Californian breads for sure. Um, Three-year-olds and up. Small field of nine. And he's back. Mama who? The Chosen Vun. The Chosen Vun? Wasn't he in the Breeders' Cup race? The Breeders' Cup sprint. Got smacked around by Elite Power and Gun Knight. But I ain't, and Nakatomi. I'm not mad at him for taking a shot in the Breeders' Cup sprint with this Californian bread, right? He was coming off of a 98-day rest going into the Breeders' Cup sprint. Now, back in 14 days, back with his own kind. Four to five on the morning line. Yeah, you won't get rich. But you kind of root for the chosen fun. Here is why. This is here California bread is five year old by Varosky, who has 13 wins from 18 starts. 13 wins from 18 starts. One second, two thirds for a cool one million dollars, right? So you got to root for this horse. Second race off of a 98 day layoff. And that layoff race was the Breeders' Cup sprint. Back with his own kind, seven horse, four to five, should stomp these. Our second pick, well, we're going to go right to the number six horse, Big City Lights. Guess what? By Mr. Biggs for sure. This horse should uh, be formally placed in this race. Probably, you know, I don't know if he'll get the lead, but he'll be close, right? The number six horse do deserve a lot of attention. It's the classy, classy Papa Mandela. It's Richard Mandela doing the conditioning. He'll be pushing all of the buttons. And when he pushes the buttons, you better pay attention. So again, Big City Lights is a very, very nice. And he got the best jock in California on him. That would be Juan Hernandez for sure. I know Flavian Pratt's out there, but hey, he's no Juan Hernandez. Matter of fact, don't say it. I'm going to say it anyway. Juan Hernandez ran Pratt out of town. Yeah, Big City Lights. Very, very nice horse. Should be considered here a very, very good prospect. Our second pick, the number six. The number one horse, well, here is a little value for you. If you want to spice up your verticals and your exactness and trifactors and maybe even a super in this nine horse field. The number one, Principe Carlo. Well, eight wins from 30 starts in nine seconds, right? This horse likes to hit the board and knows where the winner's circle is. This seven-year-old guy likes to run. This is a horse, right? So let's use the number one horse at 15 to 1 underneath in our verticals. I don't know if he can beat this mill, but they better be careful because this is an old-timer, right? And uh, this horse can giddy up. As a matter of fact, this is the one I think is going to get the lead from the number six, Big City Lights. So be careful with the number one. You know how old timers reach back for something. You know how we do. Wouldn't surprise me. 15 to one, the number one, Principal Carlo, seven year old, old timer, I'm old, he's 15 to one. He'll be on the lead. But the six will be tracking him. Hey, pay attention to the number one, particularly if you're playing verticals at 15 to one. And if we had to round out our super factor, you know I'm gonna to go to my boy, Peter Miller. He's sneaky good with none above the law. Hey, six wins from 27 starts, three seconds, three thirds, boom. Six to one only, but let's use Peter underneath with the number three. I love Peter Miller. Hey, it's got Flavian up, whatever. All right, so there it is, the chosen one. Going to get back to his winning ways. The number seven is our top pick. So for us, it's seven, six, 
one, three. Let's box it up, I guess, right? But we don't like this four to five on the chosen one. Maybe I'll just go ahead and play around with the long shot in here, the number one horse, Principal Carlo. See if I could hook him up in the exactors and try and get him to hit the board, right? Again, seven, six, one, three. Just like that. Box it up. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and play around with the 15 to 1, the number one horse. That is race number eight over there at the beautiful, beautiful Del Mar. It is the Cary Grant Stakes. For sure. My name is Wayne Bolden. I'm your Speed King. I think I'm going to play around with our long shot, the number one, the old Carla horse. He'll be on the lead, and you know Speed is what? You know it's King. My name is Wayne Bolden. You said that already. Having a bunch of fun. Happy, happy Thanksgiving to each and every one of you. I'm fired up as I always am for sure. We're going to play around with the number one horse. I don't know how we're going to beat the chosen one. But at 15 to 1, the old Carlos, Principal Carlos, I'll take a chance to just play with some exactness. It won't cost me much. I'll put 10, 15 bucks in the race with my 15 to 1. Box up some stuff.